shaders. One of the best ways that you can customize Minecraft and make it look amazing. Let's go ahead and get it installed in 2023. Now, first things first, everything that we cover in this video has this, and it's our website where we have in-depth guides on specific versions of Minecraft. For example, the most recent version of Shaders here, the most recent version of Optifine. Optifine's required for Shaders, by the way. The best version of Java that you can get for this, the how to fix issues. We have this all covered in the links in the description down below on our website. Now, everything's gonna be covered in this video as well, but things can change in 2023. Things could change on how you install shaders in 2023. And unfortunately, I can't come back and update this video. But what I can do is update our website. And so that's why this website is here. You can go through everything you need to on the website. It goes through all this in depth in this video as well. So if you have issues or something like that, the first place to look is here. The second place to look is actually our community support discord, which is in the comment down below as well as in the description, where you can get help from other awesome members of the community who may have had similar issues as you and get assistance with your shaders. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this going. First things first, we need to download a shaders pack. In the description, the second link down below will take you here. And this is our website with the best shaders for 2023. It's an in-depth list that kind of covers, well, everything that you need to know when it goes to the best shaders packs. We're gonna install two in this video, my two favorites. BSL shaders, so let's go ahead and right click and open that, as well as Makeup Ultra Fast shaders. I didn't realize they were right next to each other. So you can click these download buttons and it will take you to one of two things. One thing is a basically dedicated tutorial for that shaders pack. And if it does that, for example, I think Chocopic has one, that is awesome. Once you're here, click download, go through the tutorial, that sort of things. Or it takes you directly to the download page, you'll be taken to something like this. Now, every shaders pack has a different download page. Some are like BSL shaders here, where you have to click BSL shaders, and then click on download here, and then finally scroll down and click download via Curse Forge, where the download will begin after a few seconds. Some shaders packs are less convoluted and actually take you directly to Curse Forge itself, where we can look at the right hand side and scroll down to the 1.19 or whatever the most recent version is. However, there's one thing worth noting for shaders. Versions don't matter as much. 1.16 shaders will still work in 1.19 when I'm releasing this video, right? So keep that in mind. Just because the shader doesn't say that it's for the most recent version doesn't mean it won't work with the most recent version. So keep that in mind and it's okay if a shader does break or doesn't work, just remove it and you're fine, right? Even if it's active in game, if you remove it from your shaders folder, it won't work anymore and just uninstall basically and revert back to default. But nevertheless, once you're here, you can click on the right hand side, the Makeup Ultra Fast download there. After a few seconds, it will download. While this is downloading, how about a our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? If you want to start your own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown that XYZ slash Apex. We host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. They truly are the best hosting company out there, and there is no one better than Apex when it comes to hosting your server. They have 24 hour, seven day a week support and easy one click installation of mods, mod packs, and plugins. So go check them out. The first link in the description down below. The breakdown that XYZ slash Apex to start your own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, Makeup Ultra Fast is downloaded and now we can download Optifine. Now, there are kind of two ways to get shaders. There's Optifine and there's Iris. In this video, we're going to be going with Optifine, but if for whatever reason Optifine is not updated to the most recent version or it's not giving you the results you want, just Google how to install Iris shaders and guess what? Our video will pop up. Let me show you. So we come over here to Google and we go Google how to install iris shaders and hit enter you will see right here all of these are all videos and guess what this is even our article so nonetheless go there get this set up and then you'll be good to go if for whatever reason optifine doesn't work or it's not updated in the most recent version because it does take a while to update once you're here though on our website from the link in the description down below the third link down below by the way you can scroll down and click on the download optifine button should you have issues with optifine this article is super in-depth but click the download optifine button this takes you here where you want to find the Minecraft version you want of Optifine. In our case, it's going to be 1.19.2, but if you want an older version, you can click show all versions here, and it goes back a long ways, all the way back to 1.7, so keep that in mind. Nevertheless, Minecraft 1.19.2 is what we want, and on these Optifine versions, you want to click this mirror link, because it'll just bypass an ad and make your download process a bit easier. Nevertheless, once you're here, this is the download page for this specific version, the 1.19.2 version of Optifine. Click download, and in the bottom left of Google Chrome, Optifine will start downloading. You may need to keep this file in the bottom left of Chrome or save it on the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Either way, it's 100% safe as long as Optifine's in the title, which it is for us. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And when we minimize our browser, we want to move these files, our shaders packs, and Optifine to our desktop because it's easier to use there. They won't 
live there forever, but just while we're installing it. So to do that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, or bottom of the same screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in downloads. We have this file folder here, this file explorer. Open that up, and then what we want to do is on the left-hand side, come down to this PC, click on that, and then click on downloads. And in here, we have our shaders packs, and we have Optifine. Drag and drop these to your desktop, again, for ease of use. Nevertheless, with these on your desktop, let's go ahead and get them installed. I'm also going to quickly change my desktop background to something that's a little easier to see. One second, there we go, that will work. Nevertheless, to install Optifine, you want to right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or my icons don't look like yours. Well, in both those cases, it's the same solution. And that is, of course, Java 17. You need to download, install, and set up Java 17, and that's going to fix your icons, as well as allow you to get that Open With Java area there. Luckily, like everything else, there's an in-depth guide in the description down below that goes over everything you need to know to get Java up and running in Minecraft 1.19.3. Once you've got that, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But before you do this, you need to make sure you get Java 17 first. Get Java 17, then run the jar fix if you need it, and you'll be able to do this, which is right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. And when you do that, it's going to open up the Optifine installer. Luckily, this is super easy to get things installed. All you've got to do is click on the Install button. Now, the only reason Optifine won't install here is if one, you've not played that version of Minecraft. For example, if you've played Minecraft 1.19.1, but not 1.19.2, or you've played 1.19.2 and not 1.20 without any mods, just vanilla Minecraft, just open it to the main menu. If you've not done that before, this won't work for that version, right? So if we had never played 1.19.2, this wouldn't work. Another reason it might not work is if one, you have the Minecraft launcher open, or two, you have Minecraft open. If either of those are the case, close out of them. You want to make sure they're completely closed out of, and then just reopen up the Minecraft or the Optifine installer and click install. Nevertheless, once you do get this successful install message, click OK, and it will close out of Optifine. You can also delete Optifine from your desktop. Now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. Now in the Minecraft launcher, we should have a Optifine installation. So when we open this up, it's probably going to even be auto-selected for us. And if it's not, I'm going to show you how to fix that. But First, let's see if it is. It's not auto-selected, but if we click this little arrow here, we'll be able to see that Optifine is there. Now, you can select this. You can click play, click play again. But if for whatever reason you don't have this here, or it's not the correct Optifine version, click on installations up at the top. First, make sure modded is selected. As you can see, we deselect modded, it disappears. We select modded, it reappears. Now, if you still don't have Optifine here or the correct version, click New Installations. Now, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Shaders 2023. And then I'm going to come under the version here and then select Release 1.19.2 Optifine. But for you, that might be 1.19.3, 130. Who knows what it is, right, in the future when you're watching this. But you want to make sure it is the Optifine version. By the way, you might need to scroll down for this. I've seen this be at the very, 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 very bottom of this list as well as random places in the middle. So make sure that you do select it and don't be afraid to scroll down. And let's just go ahead and click the resolution here and change that. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing this so you can see what you're getting game. And then finally, let's click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new Shaders 2023 installation with the most important part being the Optifine version under that. Now let's hover over this, click play, click play again. And now Minecraft is going to open up with Optifine installed. From here, it's super easy to install Shaders. So I'll meet you on the main menu. Here we are in the Minecraft main menu. From here, just click on options, then click on video settings and then Shaders. So again, from the main menu, click on options, video settings, shaders. Now this is where all of your shaders are gonna be. What you then need to do is click on shaders folder in the bottom left. Now once you click on shaders folder, it's gonna open up the shaders folder right like so, or the shaders packs folder, I should say. Then drag and drop any shaders that you want to install into the shaders packs folder right like so. It's that simple to get shaders in 2023. Now if we close out of this, here they are in game. To select them, just click on them, and then it's going to automatically reload Minecraft and they will be selected. It really is that simple to get shaders. Now, one thing worth mentioning is you have some shader settings on the left-hand side here, but you also have in the bottom left, shaders options. And this is where you can really get into different profiles and everything like that to really get things set up and optimized. Nevertheless, if we go ahead and jump in game, I'll show you how you can switch shaders in game and then we'll be done. Oh, it's wanting me to downgrade. Let's just create a new world here and I'll name it Shaders 23 and we'll see you in game. So we can see that shaders are in fact active in game here and uh, looking good. But how do you switch them in game? Just hit escape, go into options, video settings and shaders. Then you can change just like you did before to what is my all time favorite pack, Makeup Ultra Fast. And guess what? There are tons of shaders options. One of the things that I love, by the way, about this is how many there are with Makeup Ultra Fast. But nevertheless, if we click done. It's going to reload and we will see 
sure enough, this shaders pack is active. Well, look at it. And what I love most about it is that we are averaging well over 100 FPS with this installed. Speaking of, we have tons of amazing guides here on all sorts of stuff about shaders and optimizing shaders and all that stuff. Be sure to check those out if you do have any questions about getting the most FPS possible out of shaders. But nevertheless, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out the video on your screen right now. It's how to start a Minecraft server in 2023, something you might want to do in order to play with your friends while using shaders in Minecraft. So check out that video. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.